this year's Actors Programme graduates will bring award-winning playwright Mike Bartlett's masterpiece, Earthquakes in London, to the stage. To tell us more about the show, please welcome to the cafe cast members Fiona Armstrong, Ben Black and Travis Graham. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Hi. welcome. Thanks for having us. Um, Fiona, first, tell us about the Actors Programme. The Actors Programme, so it's a year um, course based here in Auckland of intense actor training and stage and screen. They take on 16 actors each year. We're three of the lucky mm. ones that got Wow, that's year. quite a low yeah. level. I mean, how do you yeah. do it? Um, so you audition, you do a first round audition, and then you do a second round audition and an interview. Um, yeah. Hard work and dedication. <laughs> it is. Hard work and dedication. It is. <laughs> yeah. nice. Now, we do recognise you guys. We've got Ben from Filthy Rich, Travis, you're the no Beersies guy it's me. as well. You're all working <laughs> actors. But what makes this program so special? Uh, for me, uh, definitely for you know doing a couple of TV shows before the course was sort of realizing I didn't quite know what I was doing in the actors program. It's just it's intensive. It's no uh, sort of essays. It's just all practical stuff that's hands on and really helps you when you get onto set. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's does it make give you more of an idea of what you want to be doing? Oh, definitely. It focuses more on whether you want to do stage or screen and what you're what you're good at and what you need to work on and. Um, really fine-tuning your skill set. Mm. 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 Yeah. In terms of this production, what characters do you play? So the play centres around three sisters, and I play the older sister, um, Sarah, who is an MP working in the Department of Climate Change. And then I play uh, uh, Carter, who is a bit of an antagonist, and he uh, is a big wig in an airline that is trying to schmooze Charming. Sarah mm. quite unsuccessfully. And, and I play husband. Colin, Sarah's husband. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> now, two things interesting about this play, called Earthquakes in London, yes. but uh, you've, you've made it a bit more local, haven't you? Yes, mm. That's right. yes yeah, we've localised it. We've, um, we've taken out the London part and just, to, just so it doesn't draw you out of the narrative, yeah. to making references. And the other thing was, it was it's quite, in its uh, original form, it's a long play, isn't it? It's like nearly yes. three hours long. Has that been uh, addressed? Yeah. Uh, the director got the pen out and did a bit of editing. <laughs> to slash out. Well, that's, yeah. that's great because it's down. nearly three yeah. hours, very long time. Yes. Yeah. A long time yeah. to sit still. There's also but a strong... it's enjoyable. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And, you know, th those things, progression does happen like that and it makes it better for the audience and, and sometimes for the actors, I guess. There is an environmental message in this. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I guess it, um, it, it asks the big questions, but it's set within a family. So... Um, we talk about sustainability, um, the, the notion of um, overpopulation, and um, one of the main characters is pregnant, and there's kind of the idea of the world that you're bringing children into is addressed. Um, not all doom and gloom, but <laughs> yeah. I guess... Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, I guess climate change seems so overwhelming, but uh, when you look at it through the lens of this family and their relationships, you kind of start to uh, zone in on it and start mm. to get a better idea of, oh, I can... What can I do? What changes can I make? Yeah, Rather yeah. than thinking, oh my God, where do I start? So yeah. It's a good way to connect with the problem as opposed to feel it's this untouchable. It's this big thing that I can't do anything about. Thing yeah. that I can't yeah. touch. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So has it affected the way you guys do anything personally? Yeah. Oh, most definitely. definitely. We've been doing, a, with, within the cast, we've been doing a, a tally of things like coffee cups and um, you know Coke cans and stuff, things that you can just cut down on. And it's not so much... Um, that you feel like you're doing a, you know, a, a lot just personally, but it does bring an awareness to it, mm. and you mm. do um, just get that sort of bit of perspective onto how much you are consuming. So your coffee cup there is just a perfect example. Or you need a keep cup. <laughs> yeah, keep cup, and we'll be using cups. keep cups. Good um, investment. Yeah, what I love about this too is, am I right in thinking it's an all-female creative team yeah. behind this? So you, yes. though that includes director, yeah. Yeah. producer. So we're led by the wonderful Katie Maudlin. That's right. So tell us about them. Tell us about your creative team. So Katie um, is actually based over in Australia, um, but she has ties with the Actors Programme. Um, so they asked her, Michelle Hine, who's our um, programme manager, had seen her work before and asked her to come over and direct it for us, which is great. She's a fantastic yeah. director. And then we have a female costume designer. Hayley. Hayley. Mm. Female lighting, Rachel, um, who works at the basement. Right. Um, another female. Claire. Claire, yes. <laughs> this sounds Does that right. sound Claire. Wow. Yeah. That's that is cool. Yeah, it's very, really very cool. Awesome. Very so lucky. when people come to the show, what do you want them to walk out the door feeling? 
Oh, good question. <laughs> I, I guess literally just feeling. Um, yeah. I think it is such a good tool yeah. to kind of bring these issues that often if you were reading a news article you might kind of put your barriers up, there's too much science there and you're not interested, whereas theatre can kind of make you actually feel. Yeah. Um, and so whether it's thinking about their own, your own practices um, with, to do with sustainability or even just thinking about the relationships that you've seen and how it affects the individual. Wow. Yeah. So that's obviously um, you guys are, are working actors, you, you do stuff that's incredibly rewarding from the sounds of this production, but yeah. what, what's the future looking like in terms of work? Anything on the horizon I love well? asking actors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going back to my hospitality job <laughs> and just waiting tables again. Um, do you want to take that one? <laughs> well, I guess we're going out into the industry, yeah, so yeah. it's auditions and um, yeah. Hopefully, meeting the people that we've been working with this year, still creating our own theatre. Um, we're pretty big on creating our own work as well, so you don't just have to wait yeah. for the phone to ring. Mm. Yeah. Ben's going. I'm, yeah. I'm lucky enough to have a few things lined up, yeah. but that, that's the nature of the beast: is that yeah. it is just luck. Yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. um, and hopefully, some comes, you know, Our beast way. two's way. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it rubs off. That's right. Yeah. That's why we stay close. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I've always thought actors, you must have to be so mentally strong to go to audition oh, yeah. after audition and sometimes yeah. you get them, sometimes yeah. you don't get them. Yeah. Uh, well, it's very exciting. Thank you all yeah. very much yes, for joining us. So. Earthquakes in London starts tomorrow night at the Basement Theatre. You can check out their website for ticket details.